talk to you about the things that I haven't talked to you about uh, that are just sort of the last random things that exist. Um, Well, some of them are not random. In fact, none of them are random. Uh, Let me start over. I just want to talk about these things I haven't talked about. And let's start off with the fact that we have two different types of envelope. We have an, an AR envelope, attack and release, and we have an ADSR. And these can be individually directed to either the amp or the filter. Um, The pitch is going to get ADSR no matter what, which is fine. But uh, so we have the ability, for example, in the filter, that's ADSR running the filter. There's the AR running the filter. You get to decide. Each can have different sounds, and you can do things like have two different voices. I mean, just switching that, you can get two different, completely different articulation characters. And so, you know, that's really helpful. Um, We also have this thing right here. Um, This is the switch that controls whether the AR or the ADSR is controlling the amplifier, as can be demonstrated here. Um, so you can decide this, if the sound is controlled by the AR or by the ADSR. Oh, we're being distracted by the filter here. Let's open this up. So right now there's the AR. And here's the ADSR. And you have the ability to control to what degree uh, the envelope controls the amp. Which kind of is our volume knob. So you have those possibilities. I'm going to turn this back on so it sounds cool. Um, Let's not forget VCA gain, which basically says to what degree is the VCA controlling the volume of the sound that is currently being generated by the oscillators in the filter that we can't hear. Because right now everything's off. We need the key, we need to press a key to open up the filter, to open up the amp. So if we want, we can bypass the VCA and just take the straight output from the oscillators in the filter which doesn't sound like much because the filter is somewhat closed and we need the envelope to open the filter. But if we want to open the filter ourselves, you can hear that this sound is going on right now all the time. It's only the VCA as controlled by the envelope that keeps it quiet. This is the function that has everybody at some point calling the salesman or tech and saying, how do I shut this thing off? But that is helpful when you just want to freeform do uh, knobby twisty. Actually, we have no knobs. You're going to have to settle for slidey slidey. Um, Anytime you want to be just doing freeform sounds, you can have this going. Controlling multiple levers with one hand. But yeah, that is your your friend when you're in experimental mode. Let us not forget, and perhaps this should have been in the filter section, that we do have a high frequent high pass filter cutoff frequency. We we do have a high pass filter, 
Uh, as far as I know, and I'm not sure, so I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is just a general, if it's 12 decibel per, per octave, I'll be surprised. I think it's like six decibel per octave, which means it's kind of the same level as a tone knob on a stereo. So basically all it does is cut off your low end. It's a good tool for shaping a sound. If you want kind of a narrow, almost band passy sort of sound, you certainly have that option. And it's there and whatever. Um, it's not the most powerful thing, but it still allows you, it's, it's present on a lot of synthesizers. A lot of Roland's have a similar ability. It allows you to carve out low end frequencies if you need to for recording or whatever, or to make a more nasal, uh, mid rangey, high rangey sound. So that's there for you. Um, let's talk down here about these crazy, uh, things going on. Okay. So we have right now, these are set. The ADSR is set to keyboard gate. The AR is set to keyboard gate, which is to say the gate from me pressing the keys causes the envelope to do its thing. But if we set it to LFO repeat and then press a key, the LFO is triggering and re-triggering the envelope generator. And right now, since this envelope is going also to our filter, it's re-triggering the filter on envelope as well. And of course, you can uh, play with this. Actually, we've only had that going to the filter. Uh, we were actually still playing the AR envelope generator. So actually it was only the filter that was being affected by this. But of course we could do that. We could switch it and have it going like this. And the faster you have it going, it may not have the time at its frequency to go through all of these functions. So like if you, if you have the attack too high, it may never be able to fully attack. Or they'll run together if your release is too high. But that's a lot of fun. And we have it for the AR too. So like, let's switch the AR to control the amp. So that's a lot of fun. You can have them both on at the same time. So now we have this, the amps being controlled by the LFO can re-triggering the ADSR. And the filter is being controlled by the AR being re-triggered by the LFO. And you can override this and just go straight sound by bringing up the game. 
So there's a lot of interesting things that could come from this if I started to delve into all of the various other things going on, sample and hold. Uh, you finally get to the point where you can actually switch it out of keyboard repeat, which is me holding the key down, and have it just trigger its own dang self. Now you're completely free to do anything you want with whatever's happening and it will continue. Anyway, so that is a fun thing you can definitely uh, use on your own, on your own time. Uh, let's not forget that we have a transpose switch over here, which will transpose everything up two octaves or down two octaves. which is convenient if you need to jump parts depending on your settings. We also have Portamento. Apparent so if you'd like to change your Portamento type, because there are multiple types of Portamento, my understanding is that by uh, using a small implement, you can uh, change the mode of uh, Portamento to get the different types of Portamento. And of course, uh, how could we possibly leave it to the end but the proportional pitch control? Basically, pressing on any one of these is going to implement a change. If we press on the sharp button, that raises the frequency of the sound. Okay, let's try that again. It's a lot of fun. I'm not, I'm not sure how to use it in playing. And I think some people had some challenges with it because it was so different than, you know, pitch wheels and whatever. But it is really fun to... Of course, yes, pressing the flat makes it go down. different outcomes it can go depending on how hard you push and i wonder how, how strong this is um you can get quite a range and then of course in the middle where we have a sine wave that is just modulation to the pitch of the synthesizer i believe it is at the speed of the lfo it is And yes, you can press them at the same time. But yes, so those exist. Okay, so that is pretty much the functionality.